Hey guys, how's it going? Freaking you out, isn't it? Yes. What is today? It is Thursday. <laughs> Sorry. I only know it's Thursday because it's trash day. Um, and don't you like my new... Actually, this has been in my closet for a bit. I just haven't worn it yet. This is the... Uh, so this is long sleeve um, top from Mundetta. Uh, or you have to I, you have to forgive me. I think they have like several sub brands, but Mondetta is M-O-N-D-E-T-T-A is the name of the main brand. And then I think they have like MPG Sport or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I have to tell you from like private, I don't want to say private, you have brands like Reebok and Nike and Under Armour and all of that. And those are what I would call, you know, your big brands. And then for like um, more boutique-y, I don't even know if I'm describing that the right way, but this is the way I'm describing it. More boutique-y apparel companies, I would have to say I have been so impressed and I really like the style and the quality of Lorna Jane and Mondetta, really. Um, oh, look, it does have the... I didn't even realize I had this, which I really need <laughs> additional coverage. Can you see my knuckles? That's from, can you really, can you even see that? I beat the hell out of the Nexorcist yesterday. It was my first uh, official uh, workout on the Nexorcist with my gloves. So they had sent me the gloves and people, I'm really enjoying that machine. Um, I, you know, for me, I have always enjoyed kickboxing workouts. I have always enjoyed boxing, boxing, kickboxing, whatever. Um, I like that, but I've never gone to a gym and done a boxing uh, workout with you know somebody that I can actually hit. I've never done anything where I had a punching bag, um, so this is a new experience for me. And I will say, it really gives me quite a lot more pleasure to be able to actually hit something. Um, but as you can tell, I was hitting it hard because I had gloves on and I could feel it. I could feel, I'm like, this is not going to be pretty when I take these gloves off. So I think I might need to get like wraps that I wear underneath and maybe put some body glide on or something. What do you think? Um, underneath. So we'll have to see because that machine is awesome. So there's, let's see, there's two pads up at the top and then you've got one that's a middle like kind of right right here where you can hold it and kick up on it or you could do a front kick right to it. So then, so there's two pads up here and then there's three here and then there's two down below, which are for kicking. Um, or when you're sitting down doing crunches and you can s sit up and punch it. Um, I just really enjoyed it. I was doing sparring yesterday. So it told me that I'm doing really well and I need to move up a level. And then now what I need to do is more training. Um, I need to find out where more of the training tutorials are so that I can get better on all of that because from what I know, the Nexorcist, like, it analyzes how strong your punches are, how fast you react, and then it keeps challenging. So your workouts keep moving up and it keeps challenging you. I dig it. And sleeping last night with these raw, like, blister cuts happening, it was not pleasurable. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I was sleeping and pulling the covers over, my hands going, ah! but I still liked it. I'm also, I have a call in 15 minutes, but I'm eating my, I am addicted. This is the new phase two of my uh, cabbage turkey thing, obsession. Um, so this is, um, I've taken that original idea I got from Gina Aliotti's video, sauteing cabbage in the really good olive oil and then adding spices, so I add oregano, garlic, salt, salt and pepper. Um, and then I add, if I feel like it, I'll add red onion. Um, and then I, I do cook the ground turkey separately, so I cook all a big bunch of ground turkey separately. Um, and then I add a certain amount of ground turkey to the um, cabbage. And then right now, this, this new phase that I'm in, I'm adding a jar of marinara sauce, good marinara sauce, I get it at Walmart, it doesn't have any artificial flavorings or colorings. It's just like plum tomatoes and basil and olive oil. Um, and then I do sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. So I can have a, I can tolerate a little bit of this. And the ingredients in this are just um, Parmesan cheese, um, part skim milk, salt, powdered cellulose to prevent caking. 
so I'm cool with that. Um, but I'm really addicted to it. It's very filling. I love the taste. I'm just addicted to it. Here's the other thing. I'm being so rude eating in front of you. Um, here's the other thing. Um, I uh, was writing back and forth with Dr. Mike. My birds are being weird. Um, Dr. Mike yesterday. And I was asking him, I said, what's the best way for Dr. Mike Roussel, by the way, um, to measure my my progress? Do you tell people, do you tell your clients or whatever, that they should measure themselves or weigh themselves or both? And he said, you know, in his very scientific answer way, you know, that the most successful people weigh themselves weekly, if not every day. Um, and I told him, I said, the reason that I've been fearing getting on the scale is, um, you know, I, I feel like I've told you guys, especially since coming back from the CrossFit Games. Um, so that's been what? See, we got back. So like August, September. Is that right? We were in the CrossFit Games in July. So basically like August, September, and now, oh, it's November 1st, about three months. Um, I've really seen more progress in the past three months um, than I have for, for the better part of the year. And I can see the difference in the mirror, I can see the difference in my clothes, um, you know, I'm definitely on my way, and I certainly haven't thought, oh yeah, I'm there, like I'm three pounds away. I've never thought that. But I feared getting on the scale because I thought what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna get on the scale, the number's not gonna be as low as I think it should be, and then I'm gonna get depressed. Because certainly in the past, that's what I've done in the past two years when, when all of this change has gone on with my body and my metabolism. And then I would let this, it's kind of like my bank account. You know, I just don't want to look in there and see what's going on, so I just avoid it. And then I check my account balance and I'm like, how did that happen? It's kind of let's get a better attitude, okay? Let's be smarter about things. So um, I had to face my fears. And so I was talking to Sorry. I was talking to Mike and he said, weigh yourself. So I'm like, okay, you know what? If I'm measuring myself and I'm tracking my progress and I'm happy with where I am, let's just do it. Let's face it. It's not a deciding factor as far as whether I'm going to keep going down this path because I know I'm on the right path. I can see the difference in the mirror. It is a number, but it is something I should track. So I got on the scale today and I will say, um, the number that I saw, I will probably share it with you later. Like, I'll share it with you after I've lost another 10 pounds or something. Um, it was, it was, the number was higher than I thought. The number, um, I'd say, I'm, it was eight pounds higher than I thought it would be. Than what I thought based on just in my head. I was like, I knew what, what I had weighed <clears throat> the last time when, when I weighed myself. And I was like, wow, kind of thought I would be here. But because I went into it saying, here's the deal. I'm hopping on the scale, whatever it says, remember. Remember the results that, um, you know, that you've seen, that you've seen in the mirror. Um, you know, I keep comparing it to the, the leanest, and I don't, want to, I don't really want to shoot for skinniest, but what I'm saying is the leanest and skinniest that I've ever been when I was weighing myself, um, and 5'5", five five, um, is 125 pounds. That was the leanest, like when I was weighing that much, um, this was before perimenopause and the hormonal imbalance and all that. Um, that was my, my leanest weight. So I, in my head, I'm always kind of thinking that I'm aiming for that. That said, I was certainly not lifting as heavy uh, as I was, as I am now, and I wasn't interested at that time in, in building as much muscle as I am now. So not that I'm making excuses, but I do think that there, that's something to be considered. I might not end up being 125. I might end up being 130 or 135. Who knows? All I know is I have to, like, I really don't care what my final number is on the scale. I'm, I'm fine with that. I also don't care what size I am. If the smallest I ever get as, you know, a 40 plus woman is a size 8, I'm fine with that. All the, the way that I measure my success is when I sit down and I wear my jeans, do I have muffin top? You know, when I'm wearing my workout clothes, do I have like a big bunch of fat hanging over my bra? You know, I just want I just want to be the healthiest I can be 
I really like muscle. I'm not looking to get tiny and skinny um, or have any kind of eating disorder. Um, so I have a, a different mindset. So as much as I was disappointed by the number I saw on the scale, I am going to get over that fear. I'm going to weigh myself every day, just like I'm having a different approach with my, oh, it's a truck out front. I'm having a different approach with my um, trying to get in better financial shape. You know, I'm going to balance my checkbook every single day. I've been horrible at it, uh, especially I've uh, been really bad the past couple of years with um, doing that because I just, my hair is doing all kinds of things. Uh, I get too busy. I haven't uh, been tracking things the way I, I should. Um, certainly when I quit my job and I've been working in this startup, you know, I'm not making the money I used to make, so I'm kind of like, there's nothing in that checkbook right now, so forget about it. It's time to be aware. You can be, you can make more progress when you're more aware and you're, you're focused, you're planning, and you're tracking, period. I don't think anybody can dispute that, so I need to get over that. Um, and that means I'm going to start weighing myself every day, measuring myself once a week, tracking my progress, and not letting... Um, as long as we're moving in the right direction, we're moving in the right direction. Um, I cannot compare myself to Sherry, who is like, her, her numbers on the scale are like, she's just kicking butt. She's doing a totally different approach than me. I, got, I cannot compare myself to other people. We all have to like, do what's right for us. Why is my nose sniffling? Anyway, I have a call in five minutes, so I have to go, um, but I did want to say hello. I wanted to tell you about the Nexorcist, um, and tonight is going to be, I did not do my workout this morning uh, because I didn't sleep at all last night. Really had a, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Now I remember. So before I close, uh, oh, it's a cardinal. Um, last night, so last night was Halloween, right? And I've been having trouble sleeping again lots of stuff going on. But in the middle of the night, I came out here to get, I don't know, probably an et cetera PM or something, and went back in my in my room. Now, one of the nice things, I have a really nice new security system installed, so it makes me feel very safe. Um, but I always close my bedroom door. And so I'm in my bed, I'm sure I was sucking my thumb or something, like, please let me fall asleep. And all of a sudden, I hear this noise, like music or television, and I'm like, and then I look up down at the foot of my bed and my bedroom door was open, I swear to God. So I'm literally like, am I in the middle of a horror movie right now? What is going on? I always shut my bedroom door and there's music playing. And I'm like, okay. So I'm like sitting up in bed going, is somebody in my house? And then I'm thinking about my security system going, no, if one of the doors opened, uh, you know, it would have notified me. The alarm would be going off right now. There's nobody in the house. Nothing's broken the windows, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, what if somebody snuck in before? And I'm, I'm going through my head thinking of all the places. And then I'm like, this is crazy. So the music stops. I come out here and my stupid iPod thing, this iHome thing that I have, it had just started randomly playing my iPod. It had turned itself on and was playing my iPod. Um, I've had issues with that before where I actually couldn't turn it off. Like when I have something playing, I have to go through this really weird thing to get it to actually stop playing. But in the middle of the night, can you imagine how freaky that was? And then I'm sure with my door, sorry, that it was just um, that I came out here, took, took my, my pill, went back in, thought I shut the door, but I didn't because I don't believe that there's ghosts in my house or anything. But that said, the fact that it was Halloween, it was a full moon, and I was not sleeping, and I was freaked out, was not a good time. So I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I slept in until 9 this morning, and um, I had calls starting at 11, so I didn't get to go do my working, uh, my workout, uh, but I will be hitting lifetime tonight uh, for a really kick-butt run and interval training, and that's it. Weights tomorrow. I did uh, an exorcist yesterday and shoulders, so um, the next time I will be doing back and biceps, um, focusing on a little bit more isolation training right now, which is what I want. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Okay? Bye.